what's this? Um, before you say it's in a MP3 player, it is, but that's not what we're going to talk about fairly obviously. What we're going to talk about is solid state hard drives. Now, this is a solid state hard drive, or some might call it a flash drive, but it's not technically a flash drive. Um, so yeah, basically the difference between having a solid state storage and solid state storage and a hard drive is that solid state has no moving parts so if you fr throw it, it, it it won't it won't it's less likely to get damaged because there's no parts that move um so yeah solid state is in a little bit less capacity you know when you get the four gigabytes and the eight gigabyte nanos and then you get 160 gigabyte which is bigger in size um that's because the 160 gigabyte is a hard drive um so yeah that has a small hard drive in it generally the, the solid state drives are thinner which as you can see the thickness there of my mp3 player um so yeah um solid state is going to be better for you if you want a slightly lower capacity but you want things to be more robust hard drive is going to be better for you if you want a lot more capacity don't mind if it's fatter and want to use it as an ordinary disc inside of your computer now um you might be wondering why the the flash storage like the ipod nano only goes up to i think it's eight gigabytes well flash storage is ex extremely expensive by far not as expensive as having a, a hard drive so yeah uh, as far as I know, the MacBook and the MacBook Air, sorry, the MacBook Air, are the only computers that have flash hard drives. Um, and a lot of people have been complaining about the, the price and the storage of them, but I'm telling you, man, 64 gigabytes hard drive, flash hard drive on the MacBook Air, it's extremely expensive to do so of course they're gonna charge an extortionate price so yeah thanks for watching this video let's take a look at a message from one of a few of our sponsors